Hey guys, Archie Luxury here. How are you? And guys, I got my boom. I got my loom. My boom, 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 loom. I got my boom, boom, loom. Hey guys, Archie Luxury here. And I just want to make this little bit of a video and just convey something there. You know, the, <laughs> the guys who used to do the show with me I gotta be honest with you that I'm a little bit disappointed with some of the comments that were directed towards my good friend Marco. Marco. And you know, I gotta be honest with you there, man. You know, the comments have really hurt. They've really, really hurt. And I just wanna say I'm disappointed, okay? So, uh, you know, Clivers. I, I don't think that comment... Now, look, man, I understand you had a difficult life and sometimes your boundaries of what is reasonable and not so reasonable, they were a little bit blurred, but I just think it was a little bit... It was a pot shot at my friend Marco. Marco loves the watches. He loves the content. He loves the channel. He's got enthusiasm. I just think it was a bit rude to have a pot shot at him. He did a fundraiser for me. And, you know, I, I gotta say, Clivers, I thank you for your service to the channel, but maybe it was time to move on. So I just want to address this issue here, the elephant in the room. I'm disappointed with you! I'm very disappointed. And I'm hoping you can, you can apologize. And then we'll just, that'll be fine. That's all I want. Okay, guys, let's get straight on to today's topic. Rolex and Rolex and more Rolex. Guys, Marco, uh, what's his name? Tim, uh, Rolex, Rolex. Come on, I'm just sending the link in the description. Jump on the stream now. We got Marco. Hello. How are you? How's it going, Arch? How is this new mic sounding? Much better, Arch. Much better. It's on the stand. Do you see the stand? Yeah, let's put you full screen. There you go. Look what at that, guys. Think? The only problem is I can't get this thing to, to stay in place. How do you get it? keeps going back up. How do you get it to stay in place? What do you mean it keeps going back up? Well, you can't just... If I want it to stay there, it can't stay there. I don't know... Yeah, it just, it, just it's got a mind there. of its own. Why don't you just leave the arm there? Doesn't it work like that? <laughs> oh, it's because, yeah, because you must, there's a thing, you have to, on the side of it, you probably have to uh, adjust it, because it, what, what it does, it, it just springs back up, but you can adjust it so that it'll just stay in place when you move it. There must be a side thing. I don't know. Okay, I'll ask, I'll ask our good friend, Lolex, not Rolex, what's his name? You know, who's Tim. the guy who recommended Yeah, Tim will 100% know. There must be, no, like, no, some, no. some nut no, on Tim's the... got a fancy wancy titani. JJ, JJ, what's going wrong here, JJ? Oh, we oh sorry, you, you, I'll let you add the... I got it, I got it. Hey, JJ, what's wrong with my thing? Oh, oh you got to tighten, see the screws, the middle screw yeah. and, and the screw closest to your um, mic? It's probably too light, so you have to just get a screwdriver and tighten that screw up a bit. Oh, this screw here? That one or the middle arm? The middle oh, one, okay. and also at the base. I think the middle one. Yeah, you just crank them down a little bit. It's probably because you have a light. A, Your mic is yeah. too light. you got to use some elbow grease. It's, it's, you have a light microphone. That's why. It's as yeah. tight as a, you know, that screw is as tight as a, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, hey, okay. we're just leaving it at the moment. It's okay. How do you hear me at the moment? Is that okay? Excellent. Is that better than ever? Yeah, it's Sounds actually okay. very good. Yeah, now, now instead of holding it, I gotta hold the arm all the time. Well, you can just leave it up, Arch. It's still fine even when it's up. Okay, right. okay. we still hear okay. you very well. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, that's okay. Yeah, okay. Thing has a mind of its own. It's got a mind of its own, exactly. Hey, I just made a video. I just said a bit of a quick thing there. I'm a little bit disappointed. Some terrible comments were said by Clivers 
And I just want to address the elephant. I'm really disappointed that, you know, I didn't think... Look, Clivers, Clivers is, is not a bad guy, but I think you owe Marco an apology. Arch, right. Honestly, mm. he doesn't even need to apologize. Listen, w what he's doing right now, I said this in the WhatsApp group, he's just acting like a wounded dog and, and saying things that are extremely bitter and extremely... He, he's going to regret them in the future, Arch. I mean, to make fun of cancer patients who lose their hair, first of all, yeah. that's pretty egregious. Exactly. And know, second of all, we did it in good fun. Like, to, to go we that far... We did it in good fun. Exactly. Yeah, Marco is no snowflake. Far. Listen, yeah, may, yeah, may, God, may God never bless him with cancer. I say, I say, bring it on. I, you know, that was yeah, nothing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Look, I, I just nothing to bring look, on. I wish him well. Up. Look, I gotta be honest. Man. I am grateful that they do. They did actually work on the channel for so long. I thank them for their service. Hmm. <clears throat> but you know, sometimes I gotta be honest with you. I don't know about you. Let me just share this with you, right? Hmm. The thing about watches is just having the watches can be boring. I think right. watch talk is what we like in the hobby. And I don't know about you, but in my own life, my kids hate my watches, except the older two who want to sell them. My dad, he's not really a watch guy. My wife, she can't stand them. She says, sell it, sell it, sell it. The only people who really like watches are the fans, the, you guys here. You, you know, I mean, where do I talk about watches? Like, if you talk about watches to normal people, they say what? The first thing they say is, how much was that watch? How much? It all comes down to money. <clears throat> and the thing about watches, it's not about the money. It's the love you have for them. <clears throat> and, and it's not a terrible thing, because you can get your money back on these watches. That's why we love them. So I got to tell you, honestly, a lot of people, I think, get the wrong idea. So you like to talk to people. I mean, look at Tim. Tim's got a dream collection. <laughs> Pepsi, Panda, Explorer 2. Here we go. Andrew, $2. Marco, make sure you get plenty of rest, mate. Thank you. You know, uh... Archie, there was in two thousands there was probably a guy with a similar <clears throat> Pam collection. They called it the Dream Collection at the time. So Dream Collection. <laughs> I, yeah. You know. I might have a really dream collection today, but we never know what's gonna happen in a couple of years. JJ. Yes. J where's JJ? He's no, gone. It's okay. I'm, no, it's I'm okay. here. Jay Wright, two pounds. Put a Casio on something on Mike to weigh it down. Put a <laughs> Thank you. You could use Thank the gondola. You. And showcase watches two dollars. Clive called me a retard on air. Bless him. Mm. Oh, that's not very. Look, I, I got to be honest with you. I don't actually watch his channel, but I wish him well. Look, 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 guys. We don't want a name call. I want to. I want to be the better man. I want to be the bigger man, and say, look, guys, just, just. Let's not poke fun. You know, let's just talk watches. The community. The wristwatch community. This is what we like. The community. I love yeah. Showcase. You know, he's... James he's is such a, a cool great guy. guy. James I'm is getting a bit worried about him selling his collection off. That's stupid. <clears throat> yeah, he, he man, should sell some pieces, Arch. He should, he should consolidate a bit and then get, get a... A Fikoff watch, you know, like a Longa Ooh. or a Patek Philippe. He should just add 50, it. Fifty-one seventy. Well. He's quite a wealthy guy. He's quite a wealthy. Yeah, but guy. he could hard. She called the herd, right? That's that's your expression. Call the herd a little bit. JJ, you your studio looks like a upmarket bordello there. Right. <laughs> well, I told you from the beginning. I'm here for the chicks. You know. Yes. I'm working yes. on it. Yes. <laughs> I I'm, try, I'm you, trying to figure out a good a good um, look for the studio. I've been working. It's, hmm. it's experimental. It's good. Right I like it. I like it. I like Did it. Did you get a haircut? The Me? colors make sense now. No, I just combed my hair. Oh. <laughs> the colors make sense. Yeah, we have crazy no winter. We, me and JJ were supposed to meet up to shoot a little intro film. Yeah. The whole, all the plans were thrown under the bus. How okay. come? It's crazy. It's it snowing like fists full of snow. It's yeah, not it snowflakes. Nice. It's fistfuls 
of snow. Pico, two dollars. A middle-aged professional picking on a kid. Sad. Yeah, I, right. I, I think that's a bit. Yeah. So anyhow, we said our piece. That's about it. You know, we right. said our piece. That's it. You know. <clears throat> I gotta just, tell you, both just of grow these up. Guys, Can I say just yeah. grow up? I mean, the kid's twenty years old. I mean, yeah. you're, you're fifty something. If I was twenty, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't be as gracious as Marco. But you know, you yeah, know, I mean, like, JJ, on, just I'm a like, little yeah. jealous of Marco. You know, they're really making fun of him, but they're kind of leaving me out. Yeah, they don't even know us. Just, I feel, <laughs> yeah. I feel like, what am I not you worth? Nobody, till they've made fun <laughs> of yeah. you. We're, we're, yeah. um, we're wounded puppies. That, you know, yeah. but, yeah. but I'd rather be yeah. a. Feel bad. I'd rather, be, I'd rather guys, be a puppy than a mutt. I tell you that. Guys, they're cow. The truth is, they're cowards. You guys are horological heavy hitters. They can't compete with you guys. Look at your collection. <laughs> they're dog. Like they, they collect dog poop. Like, like that. They can't compete, so they gotta attack the right. weak link. The funny part is, we've never even mentioned them. Like. <laughs> So and you're saying you on every show. I don't know who those guys are. Yeah, but you talk about us on every show. We've never even uh, mentioned them once. I mean, exactly. I don't want to go into negativity. I don't. Right, I like to right. be car fun, two dollars. Congrats to us Americans for landing on Mars today. Oh yeah, the Mars rover, whatever Very it's good. called. Very, very look i, I gotta cool. say guys i like to be positive i want to talk about i don't like to get into negativity they did a lot of good things for me they helped yeah. me with the channel and i i really thank them for their service but i gotta be honest with you guys come on just be a bit just just look we love look my team is going good if your team is doing good i'm happy for you i want you to do well yeah and if I mean, everybody's doing anything. well I didn't it say anything Christian. about those sons of bitches coming on five minutes after I start a show. You know, I didn't say anything about that. I kept my mouth shut. You know, I didn't say, I didn't bite or complain or, if you, you actually, know. If you actually had a real opinion and wanted to talk about watches, maybe, just maybe, your live stream would last more than 18 minutes. But what do I know? Mm. I mean, I, I, I actually wanted to interview, I wanted to interview... Uh, blue blue shirt because he's got a sub 41 i want to just talk about how it, it is great and what does he think of this uh, that's what, but but you know i don't understand guys i just yeah, wanted, man, come man. on he's, just he's lift your game lift your game lift yeah. your game er had a bit of a go at me yesterday she said look she wanted me to say because uh, i i just ignore this stuff you know yeah i kind of just i find it's better just to not give them air time but look Look, I'm just saying, guys, come on, lift your game, and just be nice. Okay, so let's get back to watch talk. I wanted to say something to you, okay? By the way, my dad, I'm trying to get my dad into YouTube. Did you see that? Yes. What did you think? Uh, Very strange, Arch. I didn't get to watch it yet, but I can't wait to watch it. I saw the... the yeah, I'm the not pop putting up. a lot of energy into it. Did you like the trailer no. I did? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Re relaunched, relaunched. Put the cross click, out. Click, 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 click. click. <laughs> I thought, you know what? Let's not. Let's just do the bare minimum. <laughs> you know, whatever we can get away with. Rock Malcolm, five bucks. <laughs> bye, bye, Cardinals. Hello, good fellas. Loving the streams. <laughs> yes. I'm right back. Yeah, exactly. Did you like his violin playing? It was pretty good. I didn't know violin was called a fiddle. I was just listening yeah. to it. Yeah. And when I turned it on, I was like, yeah. what the? He's holding a... <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly. exactly. So, look, I don't know what to say, man. I'm trying to do something with him. He's a bit bored. Let's see. Because that Elite Broadcast... I'm trying to sell it to him, okay? He doesn't know this yet, but he's going to buy it in a leveraged buyout. Okay? <laughs> Clever. That's kind of my Bitcoin. He's going to enjoy it so much that you're going to say, well, well, dad, you know, I don't do shit for free. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> we'll just see I, how I, it goes. He's not a, I rub your back. You got to rub mine. I scratch your back. He's not a bad you. guy. I, I wish he could do so. You know, I honestly, I trying to get this YouTube going. I'm just grand sick. Two dollars. Starbucks product placement by Tim. There we go. Don't spend your money on that. It's overpriced. <laughs> Oh, you know, this is not this is not actual Starbucks. It's a reusable oh, cup, uh, and that's my own tea. <laughs> reuse, reuse, recycle. Graham Stephan would be proud. Archie, yeah. you what want one of these? Thirty cent iced coffee. What exactly. Is it? Something like that. Archie, 
You want one of these? Oh, I got. I don't know. I don't. It's know. reusable. No. No, that's okay. Okay. Because so I'm gonna crap, ship you, know? you the the hat. I need to get your address. Ah, oh, yeah. Can yeah. You? I'll put yeah. it in the private chat there. Thank Look, you. I gotta tell you, Tim. Seriously, Tim. I want to say this to you honestly, man. You've got an amazing collection. You know that. For now. I'm not. I, I'm I, never selling it. That's why. At this point in time, it's pretty amazing. Look, I, I did a paid phone call yesterday with this guy mm. from America who's got he's got all the cool paddocks. And I Very said nice. to him, Do you, I, I didn't think he really loved them, but you, you understand? I didn't think he really loved them, you know, because he just had all the cool stuff. Does that... Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I think you need something that is a bit more than just the hot... Oh, Joe Kramer, $2. JJ, let's see that little green guy. Look at that. <laughs> Or, you know, Joe Kramer, he comes on Tim's stream. He's actually a nice guy. He should come on here. I don't know why he doesn't come on here. Yeah. He's a, he's a young guy. He's very mm -hmm. cool, to be honest with you. Yeah, no worries. Welcome on there. We always give people a go. If they want to come on, they're welcome to come on. We've got, uh, you know, what's his name? The one Plastic comes on. He's okay. And we got Drew <laughs> comes on. And we get... Rolex, Showcase. Rolex. Rich, we got to get Showcase on. We got to start making him stay up late. Yeah. You know? Um I gotta tell you seriously, Endgame. I gotta tell you, Marco, I kinda think sometimes it's better if, if I had my time again I probably would have just bought the pieces I want and stayed with them. Don't trade or swap, you know, that's the mm. the bad thing in the hobby. Yeah. Oh, Did you regret flipping pieces? JJ? Um, nah, I mean, listen, I flipped really... You had a Brightling. You had a Brightling, which you still got. still have that. I only sold two watches, I, that you know, like good watches. Uh, I sold my Panerai to buy the Explorer 2, which I definitely yeah. didn't regret that at all. But mm -hmm. then I sold that because I got a, a pretty big profit on it. It's when they weren't really trading for much. And I used yeah. the money to buy that uh, Wimbledon Dial Datejust that I really wanted. And in retrospect, um, I didn't have enough at the time free, freed up because I had to do the deal quick. So I, yeah. I knew someone wanted the Explorer 2, and I hooked them up with a pretty decent deal. So that's the only one I really kind of regret a little bit letting go. But it was a little, I didn't, it felt a little big on my wrist, to be honest. You had the 42, the 42, like I've got. Yeah, yeah. The Polar? I mean, right, I had the Polar. But it was 2012. It was scratched up. It was in need of a service. It sounds like mine. 2012, right. scratched up. Yeah, that's about right. So I, so I let it fly, and I got brand new, under market, the Wimbledon. It was a good deal. I had to gr grab it, you know, and I wanted that watch. The Wimbledon is a great watch. Right. And I paid 9500 for it, and I got money back because I was even on the card. So I got the points back on my credit card. So I paid under ninety five, all in, shipped, everything. Now, you know, they're I, going for a bit more. I want to ask you something. i got a friend of mine who's got... I don't know if you've heard of an artist called Retina. You ever heard of Retina? Mm, no, not, I don't think so. He's in mm. Hollywood. He does... Here we go. Mr. Two. Arch, <laughs> please pass this donation to Papa Pluta Mike. Buy him a coffee. He's not that old, Arch. He's a champ. Also, what is $50 divided by 10 minutes? <laughs> yeah, he said 50 cents a minute. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. That, was that was a good clip. Okay. <laughs> okay. Five bucks a minute. Oh, okay. Got you. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, maybe Arch. You're... I wanted to ask yeah. you something. Let's yeah, let's sure. play a little. Uh, I know we like to play our imaginary co collection games. So. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. What would you say about wrap? Uh, I mean, not wrapping up forever, but wrapping up your Patek Philippe collection with the three-piece combo. 5205 annual calendar with the white gray dial. 5205, yes. White Beautiful. gold. 5130 world time rose gold. Yes. And a 6006 Calatrava black dial with the white gold. Absolutely beautiful. What do you think? I think that could work. I think you got a lot of variation, different color dials, different color metals. I think that's a solid three-piece. What do you think? Do you think you'll get something I gotta else? Tell you, 
the problem is I'd have to wholesale mine. Like the dealers are mean. You you, you know what I mean? Like like. Hmm. I'm talking about for me. <clears throat> not not to, to a di yeah. No, I'm saying not to no, cannibalize your collection. I mean the, like if I were to do that. Look, I gotta be honest with you, man. Seriously, mm -hmm. I think for you, look, the the world time I've got, I always liked that model, and it's a little small. Right. I think the fifty one thirty. If you're buying one today, that's a great sleeper. Right. I think the five two zero five. That's one of the most beautiful modern annual calendars, and a six zero zero six. Man, you've got all your bases covered. The only thing you haven't got is a chronograph, which is ridiculously expensive, you know? Right. Ridiculously mm -hmm. expensive. But i got to tell you, seriously, you know what? I'd rather do that than buy myself a <coughs> S-Class Mercedes. Me too. Your money would be safe. You, you know what I mean? I think, honestly, your money would be safe you got to enjoy yourself whatever makes you very happy you got to be happy in this world because before you know it we're gone before so, you know it like we're really i'm starting to realize this in life you know we can't live forever you, you never know what's around the corner um i got to tell you man that would be what would you sell to get that but that's the sad thing JJ, mm. what would you have to sell to get that? I mean, I wouldn't be able to get them all at once, but um, I could definitely do one right now. Here we go, Alex Spain, five euro. We want more videos on the Watch Cardinal channel. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Look, I got to tell you, JJ, I'd get the 6,006 at the moment. That's an absolute bargain. 22,000 US. Right. Grab it whilst you can. If you can get that, that is incredible. If I got them all right now, it would cost me about seventy-five, seventy-six thousand US. Hmm. That's so, a fair bit of chunk change. <laughs> right, right. Would if I if I were happy? to do that, I would probably sell the Wimbledon dial, but not yet. I want to see if it gets discontinued because I really don't wear that as much now that I have the no. day date and the Milgauss. It's kind of yeah. one or the other now. And then yeah, I still think you should should keep some debt. How many Rolex are you going to keep? Let's make sure you're not sacrificing well, Rolex. No, I'm, I'm still going to keep the GMT, the Day Date, and the Milgau Z Blue. So I'd keep all the three I have. I would just sell the Wimbledon Dial Datejust. Oh, that's okay. Right. That's okay. I don't, I don't really need it. Ever since I got the Z Blue Milgau, that's like my more casual dress watch. And if I really want to wear something more dressy, I wear the Day Date. Or if I have to do something really formal... I wear the uh, Grand Calendar, the JLC. Look, JJ, I think I would probably say, why don't you get one at a time? Just get one, see how you like it. Because right. Paddock is actually pretty hard to live with. It's not like Rolex, you know. It's, they're, they're delicate. No, they're, a, they're a special occasion sort of thing, right? right. But Yeah, I look, don't plan on getting all three at once. No, I'm, I'm not doing that anyway. I, can't. I, I think, I think that would be a great... That'd be a great one. I tell you what, those are three paddocks that would set you as a serious collector. Like you're not just chasing the like Tim. Tim's a bit of a glamour boy, you know. He's a <laughs> glamour boy. He's got the hot stuff, you know. Rolex, 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 Panda, all the hot Pepsi, Kermit. It's all there. Yeah, yeah. It's all cool. Life is good. So let's sing Kumbaya. <laughs> you know, schmo nuff. Schmo, schnow nuff, schmo nuff, five Show bucks. Up. Greetings, gentlemen. Why is the Viking OP41 Torquies 15,000 on Chrono? Talk about it. Schnow nuff. I got to tell you, seriously, man. Supply and demand. It's economics. And in my opinion, ridiculous. People That's are ridiculous. stupid. <laughs> Why you know it's why, really why is that watch. so people could pretend that they have a platinum watch I, that's the only thing I could see uh, it's just supply demand it's just ridiculous look it's it's I got to be honest with you showcase watches five dollars five pounds Tim has us all with professional cameras mics and studios fight me dead AC3 is going all professional only taking a decade to go go yeah. Tim right. Arch, right. Thank by the you, way, Showcase. 
Tim Tim is even sending me. Tim is such a nice guy. This or this. He's sending me like the mic arm. So I'm gonna buy a uh, mic, and he's sending me one of his webcams that he doesn't use anymore. And by the way, he's only six subscribers away from one thousand from a thousand uh, subscribers, guys. So make sure to subscribe to Tim Wright. Let's get his channel. Wow. Come on. Oh, almost All there. we gotta do now is get Marco to turn that light on behind him and make it look really oh, yeah. professional. And then get him an Explorer One, and we'll be in business. Oh, I think the light mm -hmm. behind him too much, is a bit, too bright. Gotta, <laughs> yeah, you gotta turn the, the turn bright, it yeah. the other way. I need to turn it the other way, but it's fine. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. That's okay. That's Work okay. in progress. Rourke, Malcolm, Rourke's the one who got me the whiskey. Tim is a Ooh. cool guy. I love Tim. Thank you, Rourke. I love Tim. I gotta tell you guys, seriously, JJ. You know what? What's that? That would be killer. That would be killer. Now, That's... does it matter if you have the plan which you start with, or would you just take whatever you have the best deal on? Because that's my strategy, to buy whatever I could get the best deal on at the moment. Of course, that's the way to do it. Absolutely. I think the 6006, that thing is going to be a... Sl I, I honestly think that is a bargain because it's modern. And you look at the 6007, they're going for $90,000. Right ridiculous yeah and that's the best deal by far i mean you know the other ones are more complicated but i could get probably one for like thir uh, 30 the, their 31 future i i think i think the order i reckon the 5130 that could boom any time so i'd try and nail that down but the 5205 it's a watch that it should only become cheaper as more of them get out in the marketplace You're right and if, if, if it was too expensive, you could always get a 5396. That's the, you know, that, and it's another annual calendar that I think is beautiful. 39.5 mils, big size. That's another gorgeous watch. I, I'd pull the trigger, JJ. JJ, you only live once, and let's be honest. Before Bitcoin starts tanking, <laughs> turn that Bitcoin into some paddock. Why not? I mean, the paddock makes you happy, but, you know, this is the yep. thing. Does it make you happy? The only time Bitcoin makes me happy is when I click on my account and it looks like it ran up. That's about it. <laughs> but it, other than that, it doesn't bring me any enjoyment. No, I'd, ra I'd rather look down and check out a nice watch. Yes. We'll see. I got some things in the works. You know me. I'm always I'm mm. pushing behind the scenes. I might make a few moves happen. Ooh. That's a very good idea. That's a very good idea. I, I think uh, I'm doing my closing in the, probably within the next two weeks, and then it's then it's party time because you can't do anything. You know, you know. Let me. I, I want to do a little rant for a second. You know, when yeah, you yeah, ref, yeah. when you refinance a home, I don't I don't know how it is yeah. everywhere else, but yeah. in the U.S., they look for any reason to fight you. Any reason. You could have. Ah. I, have I have an 800 plus credit score. I could buy my house outright, you know, whatever, not to get sound like, no, no I'm just giving you, you the facts. Understand. They JJ, will look in my for country, anything. They ask for your bank statements. Yes. And if you've taken money out of the tavern with poker machines, they say, have you got a gambling problem? Yeah. <laughs> they, they say, I oh. took out, I took out, listen to this, I took out $4,000 or maybe six, some, some in that range. Let's say 5,000 US. I moved it to another account to, you know, for some investments in the, in the stock, in the stock market. They had a fit. They're like, why did you take this 5000 Do you need it? I had to resend them all my bank statements. And finally, I got the guy on the phone. I'm like, I could buy the house outright if I wanted to. I'm not trying to do anything. Just I moved it from here to here. It's, it just moved from a bank account to a stock you know, uh, portfolio. And then they were like, OK. But they will do anything to give you a higher rate. They try to find any reason. It's really annoying. What rate are you looking at? Well, because the, the one I'm refinancing is a multifamily home, so the lowest I could get is 2.875%. Okay, that's, that's good. That's cheap. That's the lowest they're offering, but they yeah. keep trying to find a way to raise it. You know what I mean? But they can't really. Of course. So of course. It's, now, that's it's, why I haven't bought a watch in months. I've been doing this since November. They've been screwing me with this. It's driving me crazy. Uh, mm. Because if I, I put it on my credit you. card or on something, they're going to say, where'd this 20000 go? What am I going to say? Oh, protect for leave, 25000 <laughs> You know what I mean? They, they don't want to hear that. On your balance sheet, can you put fragrances used and unopened? No, <laughs> they'll be laughing at you. 
<laughs> right. You know, exactly. You, you, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I'm dealing with. That's why I haven't bought anything in months. Any watches. I'm going stir so when crazy. When does it settle? When does it settle? Probably two weeks. Should be. Okay. Mm. Very cool. I'm in the home stretch. Which bank are you going with? Bank of America? No. Uh, I I wound up going with TD because I have a friend there. So they uh, worked out the. Uh, they worked out a few things. I don't want to get too into it, but I got a good no, deal. No, no, going no, that's them. okay, man. That's okay. Showcase watches five pounds. Found out Tim owns a company that makes microphones, cameras, <laughs> headphones, and mic booms. Fake me dead. I feel so duped. Now we know how Tim affords the hot stuff. <laughs> nice one. Tim, By you gotta... the way, okay. I, I got to tell you something. I saw an interesting video on Alan... Elon Musk. Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon Musk. And this oh, is I think he JJ wears could. Ulysses Nardan. No, he, that's he Jeff Bezos. He, he oh. doesn't want anyone Musk. who has a degree. He said a degree is college degree is useless. That's what he says. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. want smart people catching no, on to what he's doing. People who are innovative. innovative. Right, right. Right. Come on. He so knows what he's doing. Something? Some of the dumbest he knows people what he's doing. are finance yeah. students in university. Some of the dumbest mm -hmm. people I've ever met. So they're just they're just telling you, mm -hmm. okay? Mark P. Exactly. Five he pounds. More, wishing more Chris from people. Watches and Giggles a speedy recovery from COVID. Thoughts are with him. What happened to Chris? Mm -hmm. He's got COVID. Giggles. What happened? He's got COVID. When did he Damn. get this? Oh, I'm not sure. That I don't know. Holy but, shit, that's a bit nasty. Mm, right. Yeah. You never know how COVID could get you. Some people get a little sick. Some people end up uh, dead. So mm. thoughts are with them. Yeah. yeah, wish him all the best, man. Ooh, Watches look at this question. Here we go. Vincent George, $2. Imagine Marco's future collection at AC3's age. Well, I'm hoping Marco keeps the Pam, Explorer 1, then I'd say, I hope a sub gets in there. I hope a GMT gets in there, a reverso, and a paddock. Five-piece combo you, meal deal. I'm starting to get, and it's a little, you might think this is a little crazy, okay? But we talked about this yesterday on Tim's live stream. Loser talk, here we I'm go. I'm not that <laughs> impressed anymore by Omega and Rolex and Arch. Let's be honest with one another, right? He these wants Kadoki now. Kadoku, what's that guy's name? Yeah, these, these are watches that are, <laughs> that are out and about. They're stamped out. They're made by the millions. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not impressed by that. Like, can I show you, like, for example, one watch company that I'm very impressed by? Oh, Let here we go. Things. Get ready for I'm an really Archie. I'm impressed Explosions by, <laughs> by Marcus' switch is, to socialism and communism. Works. This is why people pay big bucks. Right. Houdinki Look at this. Archie. He's going to be spruiking Moser soon. Look at this arch, okay? Are we ready? Look at this. Look at this watch, okay? Look at the frosting on this dial. The blued steel hands. Sorry, they have this slideshow set up so it won't stay fixed on an image. And then look at this movement arch. Look at this. Look at the frosted bridges. The snailing on the barrels. I mean, I'm not this sure is I really like it. The on glove. <laughs> this is real homology. This is true homology. How much are they? From that to how much are they? They're about, about ten thousand Canadian. Ooh, you could buy so a Rolex for that, Rolex. you know. That's the sub no date price. Arch, look at this. Uh, it doesn't really do a lot for me. I'm sorry. I mean, look at this movement. Oh, the frosted bridges, hand engraved balance cock. I mean. Yeah, but I mean, there's some Germans. The Germans do that too. You know, these independent Germans. Yeah. Are, the, none of this stuff. It's 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 the problem with this stuff is you could. It's this is German. It's German. Yes, yes. yes German. There we go. The problem with this stuff is nobody really wants it. We've got to get, catch up some super chats here. Super chats. Yeah, yeah. Here mm -hmm. we go. Next one. GB. Stop watch and roll. Two dollars. Best way to clean a Jubilee bracelet safely. I find mm. with with warm water. As you can use a soft toothbrush to, 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 to rug in there. Hmm. That's what I find. And just a bit of soap and water. make sure you always rinse it well. Rinse it well. That's the big killer is not rinsing it well. Right. I always use oh. in, in my sink. Also? I use a warm water 
and just yep. a little bit of what's the uh, dish detergent that they always do to commercials, cleaning the ducks and stuff. The blue oh. one, Dawn. I use yes. a little, a little, like a like a little drop on the fingertip. I just rub it in a little bit, and like you said, rinse it very well because you don't want to leave that residue from the. So yeah, that's what causes the damage. Jay also, Bright, two pounds. Bring up Padex Non Sector six zero zero six on Chrono twenty four for JJ. Yes, I've seen. Don't that. bang the bracelet against the faucet as the... you're taking it from under the water. Exactly. And Jeff Stripe man of five dollars. No Explorer anymore, Marco. What the fuck? Yeah, you're still no, getting no. the Explorer. I'm still getting the Explorer. Listen, guys, I like Rolex. I do believe you should have it as part of your collection. But this idea that you should only collect Rolex purely for investment potential or value retention, man, I need like I need something more. I, I want genuine. Like, look at this arch. Look Marco. at this diamond dial. He wants to buy a Marco. What, a once you a have Yuma. the Explorer Look in your hand, you will this realize is, you don't need anything more. This is real horology, Arch. This is this is the real love for horology. This is what makes me passionate. <laughs> sure, okay. But you it's need some practical pieces that you can wear outside. Is, these stuff. are never you could never get out of them. Showcase watches two pounds. Marco has sights on being the next TGV. Weird Ooh. crap. <laughs> Ooh. Look, I got to tell you, there's nothing wrong with mass-produced watches like Rolex or Omega. I agree. There's I a reason they're some... mass-produced because a lot of people, people like want them. them. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. It's it's yeah. not arch. It's not that I wouldn't ever collect those watches. I do I do like those watches, and I would recommend people have those watches in their collections. But I'm saying we should aspire for more than just like for me. What I I enjoy arch is real horology, right? The the kind of romantic story of a watchmaker who goes into his workshop every day <laughs> and and, and sets up his station for the day and polishes his bridges and does and his then he sells log. out to Richmond and buys a brand new mercedes Ooh. van <laughs> yeah but arch this is, this is for me this is this is Brutal true virology that i get what you're but that's why i've gone into the paddocks that's why the paddocks i love my paddocks because they are uh, Marco, you should get a reversal. I think that'll Marco, that, quench your thirst. The without. thing is, this, is this that you're just interested in different type of marketing scheme. You know, this whole thing that we should buy artisan and organic watches, you know, handmade on the chicken farm. It's just different type of, <laughs> <laughs> it's just different type of, uh, you know, uh, marketing. marketing. They all come scheme. out of the same yeah. factory. They're stamped out of the yeah. same factory in China. China. <laughs> Look, I got to tell you, Marco, you're right. What you're saying is right. The thing about Rolex is, you know, I was looking, I'll tell you honest, I was talking to another friend of mine. He said, Arch, would you get that 5070 that Vintage Watch Co's got? And he said, oh, would you get rid of this, get rid of that? And he said, would you be prepared to sell some of your Rolex? Because the Rolex is an instant cash. You understand? Yeah. There's no other brand that has that commodity value. Yeah, no one has the, the liquidity for sure. Alex no Spain, here we go. Alex Spain, panel opinion on this Cartier WSSA 0030. Pull it up. Pull yeah, it up. Pull it what up. Is I it just wanted to, someone mentioned a 6006, but non sector dial. I don't know what he's talking about. I think he's talking about the 6007. That's the. That's. But that's Coming worth a lot of money. Then $90,000. Yeah, these are expensive. What's the Cartier? Yeah. Can you just read me the reference? Yes, the Cartier okay. reference is WSSA 0030. Oh, that's very nice. But the, the blue dial is a bit too dark, I find, in person. Yeah. Look, i got to be totally honest with you. Cartier has burnt me. I used to love Cartier. I used to love the brand. Did Tim, you look, you, you, you look like... A bit of a Cartier guy yourself. Did you ever like Cartier? Yes, I do. I was, we were actually on the after show yesterday. We were talking a little bit about the Cartier. And I said there are three Cartiers that I really like. I like the ta Tank Solo. Yeah. Because it's cheap. And you get basically a steel Tank Solo. You get a nice uh, brand watch for, you know, very cheap money. Mm -hmm. Then I really like this... Uh, uh, Cartier Santos, but with the white dial, because you get that function that Vacheron has, you know, the ability to switch the straps easily. You can go from steel yeah. to leather. So basically, it's like, uh, it's like overseas on the budget. And I love Louis Cartier tank. 
And they think well, that's you know the where one. they invented that system? That system came out on the uh, Roadster years ago. The yep. Roadster, the Cartier Roadster. That's why CB five bucks. Marco such a cool is watch. a watch vegan. Watch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And ABC, five pounds. <laughs> JJ, who would win a fight between Hugo and Baby Yoda? Between, wait, between who? Hugo, Hugo. he's a TGV's T-Rex there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, 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 oh Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda would kill him. There you go. A couple more super chats, Arch. Rourke Malcolm, two dollars. Marco needs a reverso grand date. There That's a great watch for Eight day power reserve. Vincent George, two dollars. Marco would love the door blue and soon. That's another German <laughs> brand. All right, so look at this. This is true. Look at this. I mean, we're talking about rose gold plated movement. Okay, look at these bridges, gold chatons. We're okay, talking blue screws. You're right, up the, up Marco. The wazoo. Arch, Marco, you were right. And this but is less you know than something? steel Rolex. It's less than steel Rolex. Yeah, but Marco, why don't you get something that holds its value? Look at Breguet or Lange or Paddock. If you're going like to buy fancy-wancy stuff, I like you want something. So, Marco, when I'm hiking in, uh, in South Africa, right, and when the local uh, bandits kidnap me, Will this? Will, can I Roll give them gold. this watch to save my life, or, or no? But but Tim, I never said don't buy mass-produced watch. <laughs> I'm not saying that Rolexes and Omegas are are bad watches and you shouldn't collect them. <laughs> I'm saying the opposite. I'm saying I love those watches and I'm gonna own those watches and mm. I would recommend people buy those watches. But to also aspire for more than just run-of-the-mill steel Rolex. Or JJ, steel let's Omega. get JJ's. I this gotta is tell why you. We're here. O oh, three just tricks five dollars. Good evening, gents. Thoughts on Lumina du Panerai, Lumina du Pam zero zero nine two six. Pull it up, please. It's actually nice. Yeah, yeah it's like beautiful. Yeah, actually, it's I think my one. friend's got that. That's a gorgeous watch. Wait, it's thirty eight millimeters. Simple. Actually, that watch is amazing. It's forty. What? Is, I think it's forty. 44. I think it's 44. Oh, it's 40. No, it says 38. Look. Oh. Looks very classy. Okay. Uh, I, I think it, look, it might be, I don't know about the size, but I actually got a friend who's got a blue dial pan with the blue strap. Absolutely gorgeous. But it, Show it, the, other the picture problem is it's on the not wrist. a diver anymore with that strap. Uh, you can't swim here? with it. Mm -hmm. Oops. That looks good. Looks good on the wrist. Yeah. Wrist. It looks beautiful. It's a gorgeous watch. Aladdin Clark, five dollars. Hair five bucks towards Marco's tuition at the <laughs> Great I... Swiss Institute of Watchmaking. They're Thank honestly you. arts. They're not even good anymore. I would recommend if you want to go to a watchmaking school, go to the one in Finland. It's actually much better, and they teach you finishing techniques. So that's much. But you know what? There's no cars and chrono five dollars. Lange and Ooh. Sun. OG data graph 403.035 or current 405.0. You gotta What's get this difference? one. This is the so this is the smaller size. I think this is 39 oh. millimeters and it's got the Romans, and the other one is 41 millimeters and it's got the power reserve indicator. I think oh you should God, get this think, one. This is the original crazy. one. This is the original, the first one that was ever produced from the data graph. You got to oh, get this. Oh, 403, one. the different reference numbers. I see. Yeah, got yeah, you. Yeah, got exactly. You, sorry. This is the original, the one that first came out. I, I, I got to tell you, you got to get this one, Arch. This is the better the better buy, in my opinion. Okay, next super chat. We've got Bear Clooney. Oh, Showcase Watches, two pounds. Congratulations, Tim. Just hit a thousand subs. All right, oh, Tim. Really? There, there you go, go Tim. Tim. I did. Thank you. Thank you. Ubai in India. Thank you for that Ubong in India who, who just put a few through. Thank you. Ubai and Rajiv, thank you. Thank you so much. Bear Clooney watches $5. Owning five to six mediocre Rollies is for old geezers who think two-tone Rolex, white pants, white shoes, white Mercedes, and white chest hair are so special. What's <laughs> wrong with white chest hair, Bear? Come on, man. Come on. What's wrong with that white? At least you, you know, I got to tell you, um, mm. 
seriously, Ma Rock Malcolm, $5. Marco did good on his panel right now, worth double on Chrono24. Yeah, nearly. Nearly. Mm. Hmm. Good on look, but you're not selling it. You love your Pam, don't you? I really like it. And listen, I think. What do you, you think of one watch per brand? What? How's that for a collecting philosophy? One yeah, watch I like per that. brand. Can I tell you another one I really like, Arsh? There's another. Yeah. I love this watch, and it's a beautiful chronograph. Yes. And I'm so annoyed that Zenith made this only available in their manufacturer in Switzerland. Hold on, let me share the screen with you. There you go, Arch. Ooh, Mr. Two, eight bucks. Sorry, Tim, my credit card just hit its limit from Art Super Chat. <laughs> 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 oh, Arch, look at this. This is the Zenith El Primero. It's a re-edition <laughs> in the classic 38 millimeter size. It's got the tricolor blue subdial. Blue's my favorite color. And it's yes. just gorgeous. It's they found this dial hidden in the attic, the Zenith attic, you know, that that saved the Zenith brand. Ah. And they found, I think it's such a cool story. It's a beautiful watch. But you can only buy it if you visit their manufacturer in Switzerland. It's so annoying. So you can't Apple find price, this. Of course, no discounts. Yeah. Yeah, Marco, exactly. you realize that they didn't actually find it in the attic. They just said they did. That's just Marco. No, they definitely yeah. did find it in the attic. There's so much stuff in that attic, Tim, that like uh, it's, I mean, impossible for them to sort through. Yeah, because they just keep putting more stuff in there. Maybe. Let him, let Nobody him can prove you. anything. Now you're going to tell him the two fairy doesn't exist. Just leave him <laughs> alone, okay? These were the original dials. Right? Look, you can't, you can't recreate that patina, Tim. Sorry about that. Really? You're wrong. You can't? Yeah. These were the original dials that they had made 50 These years. These are ago. master craftsmen. They can recreate whatever they want. Are you, are you questioning their craftsmanship, Marco? Okay, you, do you think Zenith now. cannot do whatever they? You Imagine they got the marketing man there. Look at that 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 tool yeah. looks very cool, doesn't it? Ben's yeah. Ben's five bucks. If you have did the I imagination, miss the watch wristwatch check and did JJ again. His day date makes me green with envy. I'm wearing the sub marina sub marina sub marina. That's what I'm wearing today, guys. The sub. I got the stupid. This arm here keeps knocking me out. There we go. The <laughs> sub is on my wrist. Next. Uh, oh, you gotta save the best for last. Just wearing the forty, the shitter. Wow. And then we got. You guys are gonna be old. super disappointed today. <gasps> I was doing some physical <laughs> labor over here, setting up my lights, so I took it off. Not well, a good idea. Actually, I took my sub off when I was installing this stand. By the way. Hmm. If you want Rooted to Rota, five dollars, gents. Going to New Orleans for a long weekend. Should I take the Polar forty-two, Sea Dweller forty-three, or Sandwich Sapphire Sandwich, or no watch at all to avoid being mugged? Polar forty-two. Polar, polar yeah. forty-two. Polar 42. Yeah, take the Polar. Take the Pretty polar. easy choice there. That's Is the New best Orleans watch. Is New Orleans that dangerous? Is New Orleans that dangerous? Not with Polar forty-two in your oh. wrist. I don't think it's that bad. Listen, just be careful, Rooted. and you'll be fine. Though. Rooted Rota, five bucks. Jen's no, going to New Orleans. Okay. And G, two dollars. Nothing compares. Nothing compares to Rolex. <laughs> Mr. Two, eight bucks. Arch and Tim Super Chats equals homeless. Hashtag joining <laughs> the carpet beetle. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Absolutely. <laughs> So, Arch, give me okay. give me your opinion. What do you think about these independents, like the ones I pulled up, like Habring, Lane, Kodoki, those kind of brands? Tell me what you think, Arch. Look, they're beautiful, okay? I At a certain level, I respect them for their attention to detail and beauty. However, I think if you want to... If you want to invest in independence, I would be buying bargain, bargain Vacherons, bargain APs, bargain. There's so many big brands where you don't need to. You need to have some resale, okay? Yeah, I guess. The problem with those brands are you'll never be able to sell them, really. Who who would buy that? It's such a small, niche market. Yeah, you know it what is I very... mean? Listen, but I'm of the they're opinion. They're amazing. Buy it. Yeah, you buy it to hold it, Arch. But you it, don't buy it, it to be I, I'd rather... I think, I think you're better off putting your money into paddock. There are paddocks that are so cheap. So cheap. 
Yeah, but Arch, this is this is high. It's paddock quality for like less than steel Rolex prices at retail. You know what I mean? I was offered the Vacheron less than steel Rolex prices. Exactly. Ooh, we got Tim's wife. Here we go. Showcase hmm. watches. She's watching the show. Ooh, showcase watches. Hmm. Two pounds. Part of Tim died when he said 41 was better than 40. <laughs> <laughs> you crushed him with I, that. I really enjoyed the lie while it lasted. Yes. You know, just uh, Archie let let me down easily you know he didn't come out and said it right away that it's so much better so much more superior and hey. you know what happened he's right i i was wearing my explorer 2 and uh I, this watch was sitting on the on the table for two days and it ran out of power if it was the 41 i could have right. just picked it up and continued wearing it like if, as if nothing happened hey guys just to make up for my uh i grabbed an emergency shitter out of the uh, <gasps> cupboard here Threw it on. Ooh, you know. Let's pull it up. All right. Still trying to figure out this camera. It's the other way. Oh. A Seiko Five. There you go, guys. Arabic dial oh. Seiko Five. My Very God. Cool. Leave it in the leave it in the drawer just in case. You know, it was my emergency watch. I had it here. <laughs> emergency Malcolm, bye -bye. watch. Arch, if you only have one Rolex, what would it be? I assume it would be the Polar. Hmm. I gotta be honest with you. If, if, if out of all my watches now, I would say uh, it'd have to be. If you could only have one, it'd have to be a Rolex. I'd probably take the Sub because I got that brand new. It's one of the few watches that I ever got, brand right. spanking. And I love the Sub. I love the bezel. The bezel is so useful. But I must say one thing. You know, with the Explorer Two, if you fly. To just adjust the hour hand so quickly is so convenient. It's just amazing. It just works. It just works. Bear Clooney, five bucks. Tim should focus on figuring out how to operate Daytona with Drew before he tries to lecture Marco on anything watch-related. <laughs> Didn't Drew almost break your watch? Yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know if you can break it. It's supposed to be pretty foolproof. But does he uh, speak Ukrainian, Drew? No, he does not. Doesn't okay. He doesn't. Yeah. Shuta, shuta, be casual. I know the first word, but what was the second one? I used to be able to swear in Ukrainian. Oh, okay. That's true. Your first word was Ukrainian, right? The first one. Yeah, first yeah, first yeah. That was a mistake. <laughs> that's who. That's who you swear at. <laughs> no, look. I got to be honest. If you can't have regrets, you know, you're the person you are today because of mm. the journey you've gone through. That's why you get paid the big bucks. Exactly. Aren't you? I probably wouldn't have had my YouTube. There's a lot of things I've done because of circumstances and that. So I got to be mm. honest with you. Um. Uh, look, I got nice watches. I got nice carpet. I got nice carpet. Now, look, luxury. Oh, That's gorgeous. luxury carpet, that there. Blue it looks velvet. like a hotel. And looks I got like my blue books. Velvet. Look at that. I got royalty. My books. Color of royalty. Look at that. My books. Paddock I love line. books. Tim, you in, you're you the one who inspired me to put the books on display here because they were in the other room. I thought, fuck it. I want my books and magazines here. Nice. I'm inspiring everybody. So cool. You know? And uh, Tim, they, you're an you look at my cupboard. Pal. I got mm. my Doctor Who TARDIS there. I got nice. my all my stuff there. All very good. So um, yeah. And so you it's, got it's curtains. All very, yeah, and and matching curtains with the carpet. Yeah. 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 It's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Upgrades. I feel guilty now, you know. How so? <laughs> guilty, you know. Guilty? It's just guilty, you know. I. I've sacrificed for so long, and then to have these things, you just realize, you know, it's just expensive, you know. Hmm. Got to pay some pipers back, you know. They, it's just how it goes there. I kind of liked having the the floor with, you know, your feet, the Barney Rubble, the Barney Rubble. And floor also those cover beaters, they were bringing in the money, the ratings. Bringing, they've gone. They, there's no more beetle activity. I've been checking them. 
Nothing. Like, you know, <laughs> if, if, if Marco shaved the eyebrows too, you could add a hardwood floor. Oh, you <laughs> never in a million arch. I would have to get probably a very nice watch for me to shave my eyebrows out. <laughs> like I'm talking a very that. That's arch. Not very nice. You like very the Sopranos, nice watch. right? Yes. Do you remember when they <laughs> shaved AJ's eyebrows and he drew them on with the mark? <laughs> they drew yes. the big, the big eyebrows. <laughs> That was his friends, and Tony gave him a lecture about his friends. Right. He basically said what you says about what you said about uh, possessions are better. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's right. Here we go, John Gold, two bucks. What's the name of the carpet color? Blue velvet. Blue velvet. <laughs> and uh, here we go, Kryptonite. Curve. Kuiper, my frog, two dollars. Show that yoga mat, big fella. The yoga mat. What's the yoga mat? Oh, the white the mat, the white the, cloth you the have. Mat with your shrine arch. No, the white oh, one behind you. Oh, that's the, yes. the rug mm. to lie down. Yes. That's where he yes. bows down to paddock. <laughs> yeah. He really yeah, is a yeah. full on crotch shot. <laughs> exactly. You're praising so, the paddock. Oh, <laughs> and C CB, five bucks. Don Archibald the third. You are you're becoming wiser and riser. You look happier, and that is super. Now you just need a Kamari to have little action. You need a gumad, he's saying. You know, like Tony had the, the, the little Russian chick on the boat. Ah, yes. But do you remember when the Russian chick went off with Tony's mate? Yeah. Hey, listen, those and things are not meant to last. And, he went there and beat the shit out of that guy. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. That's probably a bad idea. It's lucky you didn't end up in a suitcase somewhere. Mm. <laughs> that Russian chick was gorgeous. Mm. That was... That was interesting, that. I like the the car salesman. She was hot. The Mercedes car yes, salesman. Yes, the Mercedes. The, cause, cause, yes, yes, yes. Gloria what Trillo. Did he, and what did he buy? Was it, it was an SL. Was it a 600 or a 500? I think it was the V12. I, I don't remember, to be honest. I don't remember which one. Do you remember what he paid for the boat? How much the boat was? <laughs> no. No. You remember some crazy details. I don't remember. It was three million dollars because he he oh. had to borrow money and he was behind. Remember? I don't I don't remember all the small Johnny details. Johnny Sack said he had to rein his spending in a bit. Ooh, with the <laughs> boat and R R R five bucks. Arch, do I trade in a Batman and a J L and a James Cameron one two six 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 zero for a Smurf? J J, get the six zero zero six the twenty four. 240 PS movement is a legend. Micro Do I trade in a Batman and a James? Look, I got to be honest with you. Two steel, steel for white gold. Sports. Yeah, two I... steel for white gold is terminal. Look, that's a good deal for the Smurf, though. I mean, you could rebuy Smurfs the Batman. They're going for big money. They're going right. for big they're going money. Over, like four, over 40, no? I mean, they were soft. You know that? He's trading 29,000 in, in, in on the aftermarket watches. The Smurf is way more than 29. Do it. It's a deal. And buy another Do Batman it. if you miss it. Or, or it. flip the Smurf and buy whatever you want after that. You could buy, you could bu get that Smurf, flip it. You could buy a Pepsi or a Daytona and a, and a Batman for close to what you're going to get. Smurf is a fantastic watch, really. Hmm. White gold, Submarina. Yeah, I They're almost bought one once. It came price. close. And it was going to get a discount. One. What stopped you? It was in the show. Uh, Thirty-eight. No, how, how much was it? Um, I think it, I think he offered it to me for maybe twenty-eight thousand. What was it like thirty-three retail at the time? Yeah. Maybe about a year and a half ago. It was in the showcase back when you know they sat in the showcase. Um, I really wanted the day date at the time. Probably stupid. Uh, stupid move. Looking back, it's worth a lot more now. Oh, yeah. Ben's two dollars. Smurf is amazing. GMTs do nothing for me. Hmm. Marco. Yes. Take, tell me. Listen to listen to JJ there. JJ, what would you say to Marco looking at these ridiculous brands? Honestly, what I would say is Marco is young and impressionable. Don't take this the wrong way, Marco. But when I was twenty, I changed my mind about every thirty seconds about what I wanted to do. Today, you're going to like those. Two weeks ago, you had only eyes for Rolex. I would say enjoy looking at them and researching them as your hobby. 
but when you're ready to mm. purchase, I would stay a little more mainstream because in five years you might not want that watch and it's yours for life, you know? It's like a tattoo. Buying one of those watches is like getting a tattoo. Think very, very hard. When I was mm. 18, I wanted a tattoo so bad. My father was pretty strict and he told me, don't get one. If you want to get one, wait till later. You're going to regret whatever you want. So long story short, I'm in the tattoo place and I see a Grim Reaper holding a thing, all this stuff. I was like, this is the coolest thing. But I didn't get it. And I, I still think to this day, I, I think back, like, imagine I would have got that stupid tattoo. Thank God I listened and I waited a couple of years. I mean, I have a lot now, but none of them are stupid like that. What, what a mistake that would have been. So get get your collection going first with some, you know, normal pieces you can get out of. Look at those and enjoy them for what they are. And Look, e even buying <laughs> discount Panerais and things like that, you can get out. But that German right. stuff, oh, it's yeah. just... I mean, if you want one the after you have that 10 is watches, so small. Do... The reason that they have such small numbers is nobody bloody wants them. Yeah, I mean, Arch, they don't sell every day for sure. I mean, I, I track a lot of these watch brands like mm. Habring and FP. I mean... I think David SW has had this bronze hab ring. Which Look, was if you really want one, just get a Nomos. Get a Nomos and be done with it, okay? <laughs> no, I don't want no. No, Nomos is, compared to these watches, Arch, Nomos can't compete. I'm being honest with you. I know, it's, I know. I'm, it's really nice. Bella, $2 profile, 35-year-old in first class with yellow gold, green dial GMT. <laughs> you want you to profile who that is. There is right. Some of the, a lot of these sell way over retail. I, mean, I got to tell you, 35 year old in first class, smart ass little grunt. That's what I would say. He's, <laughs> it, he didn't pay for the ticket. Okay. No, you could be 35 year old in first class. How many 35 year olds fly first class? Those who work in investment banking, I'm guessing. Let's hope so. Or the pharma industry. Definitely. A so you'll, you'll, you'll show us some images from first class, Marco. Benz, five dollars. Spending this kind of coin for me, it has to be a piece I cannot live without. It takes a few weeks of staring at a watch online for me. Mm. Yeah, I mean, listen, Arch. I'm not gonna. Uh, in terms of what I'm getting, I'm getting the Explorer next, Arch. There's no doubt about it. All I'm saying is, when we look down the line, right? Most of us yeah. just see steel Rolex, that's it. Or we just want a relationship with an AD because of the profit incentive, right? That's all I'm saying. Okay. Think outside the box. Think about the, the romanticism of a watchmaker sitting at his bench, working and laboring away, creating but you a know what? Th of think, of the, think of the stupidity oh. in doing watchmaking now because, say, for example, you learn how to repair watches. Rolex won't sell you parts. Richmond won't sell you parts. Nobody will give you any damn parts. You think that artisan will sell you parts? Well, no. He'll Arch, give you a, a third and fourth a-hole. Mm. No, th these parts aren't aren't that difficult to source, Archie. Look, I tell you honestly, right? Just can't wait for the for that artisan after he made it, made the ads, grab Marco by the nuts and show they him. Don't advertise. <laughs> Him. They don't advertise. Very niche. They don't have the marketing budget. Yeah, they have, no, no. They I, I, have... I, can, I would just say be very careful. My advice is, unless you are very, very rich, stick to... There's some bargain reversos. If you're really into watchmaking, reverso. Jager LeCoultre has some amazing pieces. They are absolute bargains at... But my issue is, Arch, is that JLC is like stuck in the middle, right? Where they're not like mass produced and they're not hot horology, right? Yeah, but and the... JLC's got all the right credentials. You look at it this way. Just grab this super chat. Vincent George, $2. Marco, get Explorer 1 then. Lange, pre-owned. Definitely. Let me say this to you. JLC is owned by Richemont. And so they longer. supply they were a movement maker they're like zenith their history is like zen they were a movement maker that's what they mm. did they sold movements to other manufacturers the first cartier tank i think had a jlc in it or a yeah they had a jlc that, but you know mm. paddock used jlc ap vc vc and ap still use jlc based movements now seriously 
I would be buying that brand. If you want a bit of a sleeper, you buy that second hand. These certain custom ones, I think they're Very amazing. Serious. Yes, they are, but they're so specialized. I'm, I'm just concerned you can't... You always got to get out. JJ, JJ, no matter how rich you are, you got to get out at times. What do you think, JJ? Oh, yeah. It's always better to be... Um, there's a reason why you get less interest on items that are more liquid. You know, the convenience of being able to get out when you need to. You know, mm -hmm. people say, oh, but I'm not going to need to. But, yeah, nobody ever thinks they need to until they need to. You yeah. know what I mean? So, you know, exactly. I mean, I'm not saying don't ever buy these watches. But if you become Be sure. what you're very wealthy and it's throwaway money and yeah. you have already a pretty decent collection of, like, you know, real, like, you know, regular everyday watches, then, yeah, do it if you want. But, I mean, you got a long way to go, in my opinion, before... You should ben buy these. Clooney, two dollars. Tim, if they advertise, you would know about them. Bear, these guys are really clever. Like, that's the whole point. This is the whole technique of advertising. Just be one minute. Toilet they're using break. Marco for free. Why would they pay? It's, you have they're to, not using you have the traditional deep. means you of really advertising. Have to dig deep. Trust me, Tim. It's you have to go down the YouTube rabbit hole to find these guys. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta uh, get them. The and then break you know. Yeah. These guys, they're, they're cleverer than me and Marco. They wouldn't advertise it in... More like, clever. Yeah, this they wouldn't the advertise it in the movie. way you would expect, like in magazine and stuff like that. Yeah. They uh, have Zegler people to screw I really like. I really like this one. Yeah, and I really that like... gorgeous. I really like your annual calendar as I well. I really too. like your that one. The annual. symmetry. Yeah, Ooh. this is gorgeous. That just it's works. Got a, it's got a danger indicator. You see this this indicator right here? It's when you uh -huh. shouldn't set the perpetual calendar because it's in the danger zone. So it's oh. technically foolproof. Well, it tells you cool. not to do it. Yeah. Huh. Doesn't mean you'll follow the instruction. And then mm -hmm. I like but the thing is, again, like All right, bath and break is paid for. There you go. By JJ. Look yeah, I gotta hit him up. I'm gonna I'm going to ask him if I could tell about... Oh, I'll say I don't want to say now. I'll wait for no, no, say back. it. Well, he's not there. No, I, Guys, did my, by the I way. finished my first uh, my first vid. But whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, I don't want to say it the on one the you sent it to me? asking him. Yeah, I'll wait. No, no. That, someone oh. else did that one. I made my own. Oh, guys, go check out... No, no, hold on. I don't, don't promote it. Yeah, that's not good. Hangout. It's not not good to do. we gotta we got to wait for the boss to come back before we do mm -hmm. anything like that. I want to get a... But anyway, oh, you Marco, should have said bathroom break LLC. sponsored by the yeah. gentleman's hangout. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. I got something <laughs> else in the work with Arch. I spoke to him. Yesterday. Okay. Yeah, what see the way the way they did it, the the way they integrated the JLC logo into that perpetual calendar, actually makes it very elegant. Yeah, I really like this. See this is, that? I'm pretty sure this this watch was worn by um, the actor who played Doctor Strange, right? It was this one mm. or the white dial? I'm not sure. JJ was... Lecoult, two dollars. Bathroom break sponsored by JJ Lecoult. Thank That's you, JJ. Got to keep. We were speaking of liquid assets. You know what I mean? I we guess that's where you go. That's exactly right. <laughs> Rourke, Malcolm, five bucks. Marco, Explorer two, and Reverso, definitely. Look, I worked the guy. I worked with a guy who had one of those Blomboff, You know those those German things, mm. because there's actually a agent it was in brisbane called define watches define watches was an agent for all these obscure weird and it was in brisbane <laughs> weird german brand and i went there and i gotta be honest with you they are amazing they had some amazing movements like they had even old amiga movements they customized with etchings and you know skeletonized mm. them in that right but you know what man at the end of the day Stick with Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. I, I tell you, my coffee. I didn't drink CB, five bucks. In theory, watches are never a good idea when you adjust at the beginning. But you have several in the collection. They can find a place. They can find a place. And Vincent George, five dollars. Ever worth buying JLC. Steel Reverso Duo Large at retail 9100 Lesser discount to take advantage of the long warranty. Eight years or something crazy. I'd mm -hmm. rather buy it used. But, yeah. look, 
by all it's means. Careful, Arch. There's no reason why you should get that watch service, anyways. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, over eight years, over eight years, yeah. maybe. But I mean, listen, most watches you can you can stretch the service interval 100. percent 100 percent. Rourke Malcolm bathroom break sponsored by Nasty Whiskey. Thank you. <laughs> That's the nasty. That's my yeah. nasty. You guys, That's make the one that made you angry. I used to buy this stuff when I traveled. You know what? I haven't been on a plane in overseas in over a year now. Ooh, that hurts. <laughs> so I quite like this. It brings back some good memories of duty-free huh. airports. <laughs> it really does. I miss travel so much. You know that what, stuff Marco? is great when you mix it with Coke. It is great, yes. Yeah, it's, Red Label's not as bad as you actually it's it has its purpose drop. even drinking it by itself it's actually pretty reasonable hmm. yeah. jj what Speak are we to doing me. to convince marco he's being stupid he's not gonna buy these watches anyway he's listen to it, me. It, it's it, it's been months and he's still waiting to pull the trigger on the first watch so not the I'm first, oh, you know, the, or, well, he's right, only young. He's 21. I mean, no, I no, I'm, I'm not. Cre- I'm not blaming him. I'm just saying I'm not worried about him buying these watches. He's fantasizing about because, in all reality, he's still working on the first one. So once he gets the Rolex, he, he'll be taken by the. Store. Oh yeah, it's, exactly. Uh, I think he loves exactly. his index fund too much. He loves that bank account. Let me thing. let me tell you something, okay? Yankee Doodle five dollars. I think it's <laughs> dumb to take a watch for service if it doesn't show signs of malfunction. Actually. Yeah. Oh, Rook Malcolm, twenty dollars. Arch, have a drink. I love rum and coke, by the way. Nice. Thank you so 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 much. I I won't mind if I I do actually. I'm gonna put some whiskey in there now. I need that. I need a bit of pep. I was just feeling a bit down, yes. Rook. Mm. This is actually quite decent scotch, you know. It's decent. It's decent. It's not brilliant, but it's very decent. I want to say this to you. You know, with Ferraris, when you buy a panel from a Ferrari... We're going back to this? Six, um, Are you talking about this? Got, no, I'm talking about Ferrari panels. Okay. You know, when you buy a Ferrari, right? Ferrari okay. car. A Mercedes-Benz has perfect panels. A Mercedes panel, you could buy any panel from any car, from that same series and it will fit. Ferrari, they hmm. oversize the panel because they're never quite the same. Every car is kind of hand. Okay, every car is Italian and they're sort of put together with rubber bands and chicken wire and string. Whereas the Mercedes Benz, every panel is perfect. Okay, this is, we're talking W113s, W123s. Marco, there's something to be said for mass production. Say, say hello to your wife, Tim. Hello. Hello, hello. Mrs. Wright. Hello. <laughs> Mrs. Wright. Hi, Mrs. Wright. She's very lovely there. She's giving you a hand. That's great. Hmm. But Arch, you know what I tell the viewers? There, there's a YouTube channel, so cool. okay? It's Roger. You know Roger Smith? He's a British watchmaker. I don't really brilliant. like him. He's not just a watchmaker. He's brilliant. He's probably the best watchmaker in the world. I'd say I give the edge to probably Kerry Voodalainen. I prefer the dial making that he does, but... That's just my opinion. Roger Smith, go watch his YouTube channel about how he makes watches arch. When I look at that, that's the, that's true, genuine horology arch. That's what it's all about. It's a watchmaker sitting at his desk, slaving away and creating a piece of art. It's a passion project. That's what it is. That's what watches were, but were lost because of mass production. Sounds that's like just you're having a vegan mass marketing, production. Marco. Look. JJ, do you believe this crap or not? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not even listening to him. He, he, he like you. I don't know. He's in fantasy land right now. He's he's imagining some guy who looks Marco, like Geppetto building Pinocchio, making, did you smoke making today? his watch, and he's gonna wear it all the time. Did you do a couple of hits before right. coming on the show. Look, I think there's some very good brands. If you want to get high horology, there's many good brands. High horology. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Tell you now, Mick, why don't you get, you know, what I would get is a, if you love bargain buys, uh, some of the VCs, you know, for the price of this Explorer 1, I could get up a series Gen 2 Vacheron. Yeah. 
Hundred percent. Some amazing buys you can get. Yeah. I mean, listen. There's a lot of brands like that. Longer sells significantly under retail. But I go through the. I understand exactly what you're saying. You know what? The the you know what the antidote? Can I mention the antidote? Tell me. This stuff yes. here. A new watch. Chrono Swiss. Yes. Chrono Swiss. Remember Chrono oh. Swiss? They had the the photos of hand etching. They're using ETA movements and, yeah, and but... Carl Zuger. <laughs> You know, there's, Mike, there's nothing with the, wrong with, with the, the ETA movement. It depends how what grade it is and how they finish it, right? Like, mm. for example, mm. the, the watch that we pulled up earlier, that German watch, the D Dornbluth and Son, it's a mm. it's a ETA caliber, but they yeah. they they spruce it up. You know what I mean? They do a lot of extra stuff to it. They rose gold plate it. They hand engrave it. They finish it. They they engrave the balance cock. They use gold chatons for the jewels. They blew all their screws. So they, they go through a lot of grunt work to make the watch just more than an ETA-powered watch. You know what I mean? This is not a Bremont. Like, it's not a Brumont. <laughs> That's the difference. CB, five bucks. Roger Smith will be offended if he knew he was compared to micro brands, Marco, showed before. Oh, Habring, no, no, no. Habring is one of the most respected watchmakers in the world. What are you talking about? Same with Kodoki. Kodoki is one of the most respected watchmakers in the world. And so is uh, Lane. Lane Lane is a Finnish watchmaker who is being regarded with the likes of Kerry Wudeline, who's probably one of the best watchmakers in the world. That's ridiculous. CB. Come on, man. Look, I got to tell you honestly, man, you know what? Get the Rolex. It'll all change. It'll all it'll all fit in perfectly. You know, seriously. We'll you know what? The thing is, let me say this to you, okay? Rolex is not by any stretch of the imagination the best watch. The finishing is nowhere near as good as many, many brands. I gotta tell you, I was actually disappointed when I got the sub because I was used to I was used to the um the JLC that I had, right? Mm-hmm. But where Rolex is very good is the attention to detail. Like every font, every surface, you wouldn't realize everything is absolutely consistency. The consistency with Rolex is amazing, the quality. And what they've done now is they want you, like even the way the box is designed, they want you to have that experience. You, 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 you know, it's, it's I, I've got to be honest with you, okay? It's like Johnny Walker whiskeys, right? Those boutique whiskeys, single malt, are going to be so much better. Okay? Johnny Walker is such a mass produced, like Johnny Walker gold label. They got the gold box and they've got this and, you know, you could, it's marketing at its best, right? But I, I got to tell you guys, seriously, you've got to understand some of these small independents they are amazing they do that we need them in the hobby otherwise you know next generation appreciate it car fun two dollars decorated eta is like a corolla with custom paint thank you That's true. car fun oh i tell you what i think is disappointing Arch. is that you know why we're not going to have any watchmakers is because none of these big makers will sell parts this should be illegal you yeah, realize I agree. that I agree. Rolex, big you, shouldn't to, you should but Archie, you're talking about big government now. <laughs> if the car industry tried that, they would be antitrust suit. But watch industry, because it's a luxury item, they get away with anything they want to do. Mm. Mm. You JJ, know, Archie, yeah, that's sorry. such a good you know point. What, Tim, because Tim, I think you need you need to get a paddock in there soon. You know that. I yes i yeah. do you i need know. to break up actually you need to break up the rolex monopoly you got going on, on uh there. this sunday i'm going to pick up a buckle for a paddock oh that's a start a, buckle. a deployment buckle a deployment yes to upgrade the uh, five oh so they're giving me a buckle and uh, a strap for three thousand that's good it's good right what color gold is it it's rose gold rose gold it's the deployment buckle and the leather strap to match. Does, does your dad wear this watch? Man, I... That's the thing. I'm really pissed. He's not... Uh, he's not wearing it when, I, when I'm around. And I told him, hey, I, I want to borrow it. And he's being super stingy. Kind of dickish to me. I don't know why. Here we go. CB so it frustrates the hell out of me. 
Philip Defoe wears a GMT Pepsi. Okay, he also owns a rose gold longa. Uh, Longa datagraph, if I'm not mistaken, with the black dial. Like he owns a Hello, number of hello, Mrs. Yeah. Wright. We, she's so beautiful. I'm not Did saying miss- Rolex watches are bad. They're arch. Again, mm-hmm. I'm gonna repeat this because apparently people haven't heard this. Oh, or- hold on, hold on, Marco. Let me finish what I was what I was saying. Here's the thing. When I had that Teg Heuer, right? I thought it was the greatest thing since uh, I don't know air cooling. Uh, I. And I showed it to my brother, and all of us, we were, my, my, our minds were blown. You know, we looked at, through that crystal, and we thought, oh, it's got automatic movement. How cool is that? And then when I got the Rolex, I looked at the tag whore, and I was like, wow, that tag is a piece of shit. <laughs> that's, how, that's how much better the quality on the sub was i couldn't i trust me i didn't i don't want to say this i don't want to say do you think i want to be sitting here and saying oh rolex is so great i don't wanna but the quality is just (laughs) i i don't want to but i have but i'm gonna say i have to i have to it's just it's the truth i don't want to lie to the viewers the only and when you get your Explorer Rolex, 1, I want you to record yourself. That's what it is. It's their timeless design and the regulation of their movements. That's what makes Rolex Rolex. Let's be honest, Sarge. Their timeless You're right. design and the regulation. That's It's the only two things. Their designs and the regulation of their movements are second to none. I, I would say waterproofing and automatic. That's what Rolex is famous yeah, for. Fair enough. Automatic. Because they, they really pioneered with the bubble back, the automatic movement. And they also, um, waterproof was always a big thing. Also, Arch, can we go back to this? ETA move, there's nothing wrong with ETA move. Many people used, like, uh, yeah, yeah, movements from movement yeah. manufacturers. Pack, yeah. Paddock used to use Lamagna bases, Breguet still does. I mean, these are yes. fantastic movements, you guys. If they're regulated properly and they're finished properly, there's actually nothing wrong with them. The most collect, we said this on the last live stream, the most collectible. Paddocks are the Lamania based ones. Exactly. <laughs> and the Rolex, the most, the, the most valuable Rolexes are the, the Valjoux. Valjoux. Yeah, the Valjoux 7, what is it, the 72 or 727, the 27, I think. Yeah, exactly. There you go. It's amazing. The manual wine calibers. You know, they don't even in have op- parts for that anymore. In my opinion, uh, the in house uh, only matters if it's actually better than the ETA. Like, if it's a. If it's a superior movement in uh, some way, because there's a lot of in-house movements that are garbage. You know. Yes, that's a good point. You're actually right. So it's well, a marketing tell scheme. I Marco, it's good to have you in the hobby. We've got eight minutes to go. We're going to wrap this show up in eight minutes. I want to mm. say you've got to have the love, Mark JJ. I want to talk to you. Shoot. It's interesting. You're getting a loan on the house, right? Right, refinance. Well, let's face it, money is that is the cheapest money you will ever get in your lifetime. Well, I'm I'm not taking a HELOC. I'm refinancing my mortgage payment, so it's because uh, the interest rate is cheaper. So it's just going to lessen my monthly payment. What do you think? Um, I'm just thinking to myself. Is there anything wrong with, say you got a $500,000 house and say you took 200 out, if your house is paid off, took 200 out, put it in watches, paid, because they won't give you finance on watches, right? Because it's, 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 it's high interest rates, a personal loan, but they'll give you finance against a piece of stupid real estate, right? Correct. Use that 200. Say you got a half a million dollar house, take 200 out and buy watches with it. You could definitely do that. Is there anything wrong with doing that? I mean, listen, if you want to buy the watches uh, and you took like a HELOC or something, the money is so cheap. Like if you don't want to take it out of investments or something like that, I don't see anything wrong with paying like two and a half percent, three percent. I mean, Mm. what is it really? It's really not, not that bad if you'd rather make the monthly payments. Instead of taking two hundred thousand dollars out of, say, the market, that's making you eight percent. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with that, as long as you're responsible. You know, I mean, some people are irresponsible, but yes. if you if you could pay it back, 
I don't see why not. I mean, I don't know if I would take out half of my... I, the only reason I say that is because it's secured debt. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't pay it back, you're going to be homeless. Credit cards is unsecured. If well, you don't pay it I back, they're, you, they're beat. But the, if you own a home, they still will come after you. Believe you me. They, they, yeah, that's, that's it's true. Not, it's not that hard to do a credit check on you and see what you own. Right. I don't think it's... A, I'll put it to you this way. I don't think it's a bad idea to do it if you have the money. Like, let's say if you have 200000 in the bank or in, in the uh, S&P 500 index fund and you don't want to take it out because it's doing well, I don't think it's a bad idea to take out the HELOC and pay it back over time. Because if you ever get jammed up, <coughs> excuse me, if you ever get jammed up, you could always take it out of the index fund and pay it back if you had to. So strategic. But if, you, if you had a house paid off, like, you know, plastic. I don't want to reveal too much about <laughs> plastic, but he's got a, basically he got a $700,000 house. He took out a hundred to buy an X5. And he put another hundred into watches. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? <laughs> I told Bear not to do this. Oh, boy. Bear Clooney, five dollars. Excuse me. Who has the most Rolex watches here? I have 30 plus Rolex pieces, yet I agree with Marco. Tim and JJ, please open my eyes about Rolex. I don't understand. Well, there's what a reason. There is a reason why Bear has 30 plus Rolex pieces and not 30 right. plus artisan crafted. Right. You're, watches. you're pretty much just agreed with us, actually. Yeah. I'm not saying it's a bad watch. Go. I'm just saying Marco should own some regular watches before venturing off. After into, he has 30 plus watches. Rolexes, right? Then right. he can go into and, the artisan. And not for nothing, Bear. I mean, two weeks ago, Marco was calling every watch under the sun a shitter that wasn't a Rolex. Yeah. I mean, until you yeah, gave Marco him... Marco doesn't know what the hell yeah, he's talking about. Until you gave him a horology Bear. lesson last week. So let's be honest here. This is yeah. this is, this is is where the tra transition came in. I'm not saying he never liked them before, but, you know, he always agreed with buying the smart money watch. So Bear, yeah, so after having 30-plus Rolexes, you have my permission to go ahead and get a couple of artisan made. It's no problem. It's no problem. Let me tell you this, Marco. Let me tell you this. I sat down with a guy. I flew to Sydney. I was at a beautiful hotel, the Hilton. And he said to me, right. Gave him the money. He pulled out the Explorer 2 and the Z Blue. And he said, right. Give me one of those back. I'll give you a Vacheron overseas. Plus, I'll give you some money couple thousand dollars it was so hard for me that was mental torture because the vacheron i know you don't like gen 2 but you're just it's still a beautiful watch that. there's a lot of work done to that it watch. was so much better than the rolex right so much better but you know what i if i was going to give one back i would have probably given the explorer 2 back i thought about it and you know what the thing about Rolex is it is international currency. It's like Bitcoin. Okay, it's wanted everywhere. Rolex, but believe you me, if you were in trouble anywhere in the world, it's a get out of jail card. It's a ticket home. It's get me out of here fast. It is not many things you can own which are universal currency. Right. And you don't want to believe give up your paddock me. if you're on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> but again, Arch, that's that. What I'm saying is, the smart money goes to Rolex, right? But if you love watches, if you're passionate about watches, how watches are made, how they're designed, how they're finished, what goes into making a watch? Yeah, Rolex just doesn't do it like like they used to. You know what I mean? You know what? I think honestly, you could also make the same argument for vintage. You could go down the vintage rabbit hole. Say, well, watches aren't really the same as what they used to be. No, they're better. Let's go vin they're better vintage. than they were before. Because like the technology, vintage. because we have so much technology available, Look, we can make I've, movements better. If you than watch the videos, the what is the absolute best watches in the world today? It's Paddock. Mm. Minute repeater, grand complications. That's what it is, yeah. really, right? Yeah, yeah right? 100%. You watch, and now if you want to move a step back from that, it's things like the 6006, all the paddocks. Those are the top of the tree, really. Mm. Okay. Now, the thing is, if you want to get some bargains, you, you kind of see 
you know that John Goldberger, he's a super collector, Italian guy. Yeah, yeah, he's he got says, all the big opponents, right? Yeah, he's got some amazing Oh, he's got, got the Cartier paddocks. stuff too. Yeah, yeah, he's, got, he's the older gentleman, right? Yeah, yeah. He's wrote and the he Cartier says, book? He doesn't want, yeah, he wrote a few books. He said he doesn't want any paddock. The, the golden era is before 1983, before CAD CAM came out. Hmm. And I'm surprised by that cool. because Arch, the technology we have today, right? Because of computers. I mean, even yeah. just look at Rolex, right? The well, service saying, we just put longer. it into a computer, a CNC machine will churn it out. That's what he's right, saying. but it's not just right. that. The, the the controls are tighter, right? So, for example, a Rolex movement is more accurate, is more reliable, is more durable, and it, it the service intervals are longer than in the past, right? So the technology we have allows for movement watch movements to be tech. Techno technologically speaking, a lot more proficient and a lot better than they were in the past. Correct, correct. Rourke Malcolm, two dollars. I'd want a Rolex if I were in a Gautam Guatemalan <laughs> jail. I Guatemalan, Guatemalan, Guatemalan. Arch, that would get stolen right away. Why would you want a Rolex? Are you kidding? Because you That'd wouldn't be, be in there. You could get out. You could bribe your way out. Guys, to we're going to wrap this show out. I'm going to say thank you to you guys. I want to say, look, Clivers, if you're watching there, just, just if you could just apologize to the to our friend Marco, I'd appreciate it. Just a quick Honestly, apology. Arch, Sorry, Marco. That's all I want. Let okay, him guys. Non-existent. We'll be back hey, Arch, tomorrow. I got a question for you before you yes, yes, before yes. you wrap yes, it yes, up. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Um, do you mind if I super chat you? I made a, a little video doing my collection. Do you mind if I super of chat course. you on the thing? I don't want to step on any toes, so I'm of as course. asking politely. You know what I mean? Of course. Anything you want. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm going to no super worries. chat it over to you right now. Thank you. Oh, and Lolex is coming on just as we're Lolex, please. Up. What's Lolex? up, guys? What's going on? How's everyone doing? Hey, Lex, how are you? We had the uh, quite an awesome debate over here. Everybody's production is stepping up so much, and I'm still here with my bare wall. Like, literally, <laughs> look at JJ's. This is, like, amazing. It's, like, overnight. It looks like a studio. He looks like Joe Rogan. Yes, he does. Yes. He does. It's an amazing studio. Damn. This is where he does his day trading. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. I can tell. Here we go. Rock Malcolm. Look at Rock him. Malcolm, $10. Cleave. Apologize, Cleve. Ten dollars. <laughs> Who's Cleve? Clive. 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 Yeah. Clive. There we go. Or just right, don't guys. be a dick. We're wrapping the show up. Okay. See mm. you. Take care, guys. Wait. wait I just sent. Oh, wasn't he there super? Oh, wait, yeah, no, he's no, super just, chatting. Sorry, oh, just sent. I was having a little technical difficulty. Okie dokie. And I'm gonna drop the link in the description okay, below. Just a second. Yeah, yeah, you guys yeah. can check guys, it out. Guys, make sure you like, show, just comment, and subscribe. PM. What's it called? Arch, right, so I want to talk to you after the show too, please. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that sounds go. great. Okay, guys. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Later. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm. Couple of <laughs> drinks. Rourke. Rourke, Malcolm. Couple of drinks. Couple of drinks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will have a couple of drinks with my guys. Mm.